Beggars and girls, Swire is up next. Uh, my Swire for this particular one, um, E250, Max Trust, no mastery points. Uh, I have pulled off the module for this. You will find it easier if you do have the module equipped, just because of how the map plays itself out. I've yanked the module off just to show that it can be done. Um, I would also be very comfortable to wager that you definitely don't need a Swire as well leveled as mine is. Um, just again, because of how the map plays itself out. Now, um, put simply, you can use either one of these. It doesn't really matter. Um, I did actually use Commander Dispatch originally when I did my first run, just because of if you actually look at how your own operators have played out. Um, it seemed somewhat obvious to me that that would be what she used, but um, as I say, it doesn't really seem to matter. So I'll use skill two because Swire seems to be where the main point of our damage comes from. That said, if this helps you out, guys, please leave a sub. It helps me out a bunch, and I really do appreciate that. So obviously, we're going to whack Swire up on this uh, healing tile. These snipers are pretty much just going to be killing drones. There's not really going to be anything too special about it. So understandably, Swire's module is going to help you for when Swire's attacking them outside of a range. Uh, you'll also notice that as our snipers do kill drones, um, buffs aside, we are going to get little passive uh, drops. <laughs> I don't really know. The port packages. Um, same as we do in the normal Casimiro's maps. So we're not really going to be too fussed about any of those. What we're just going to basically do is load them up. Big time. Uh, so I just like to stack a bunch of them together. I believe we get six in total. I believe. So just make sure you stack them up as best you can. Maybe we get eight. I'm not really sure. I can't recall. Doesn't matter. Oh, well, we've got eight at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to stack the hell out of these and slow these guys down as much as we can, basically, because as I said, Swire gets a damage buff when she is not blocking. So again, this comes back down to the module being helpful because while these guys are slowly trundling through our zappy field of doom, Swire's basically hammering the hell out of them. Now, we also have a whole bunch of other stuff we can use. Heaps of tools at our disposal, so we're going to use Swire's skill here. Because we want to get rid of these guys as quickly as we can. And once they're all stacked up nicely, what we'll do is we'll detonate this, but I'm going to wait until this guy actually walks up. So, Because as you can see, Swire is definitely not in any great rush to get rid of things. So don't worry too much about this drone wave. I've never particularly seen anything good come of it. Uh, I don't believe I really need all these, so anyway, the boss is in. Let's detonate this first one. Detonate this second one. Uh, we have three more of these things, so I don't. At this point in time, as I keep saying, there's no real reason to rush. We've got 11 stunning landmines. So you have tools for days to get rid of this boss. No matter how high or low level your Swire is, you have all the tools you could ever need to get rid of the boss. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not a hard one. Uh, it looks difficult, but it's really not. Just line it up. Give yourself as much time as you can between Swire and the enemy using those slow traps and you'll be fine. So I hope that helps out guys.